And now, Revelation Fireside. May the 26th, 2016. Three ships carrying migrants from Libya to Italy, capsized in the Mediterranean Sea, sending passengers tumbling into the water. One ship sinking every day in three consecutive days. Reports indicate hundreds have died as a result and the death toll is expected to rise soaring over 700. John 13 19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. Prophecy August 19, 2015. In the spirit a ship is seen sinking. Many lives are lost. It is time to, for all to seek the Lord Jesus Christ in this perilous time. 2 Timothy 3.1 This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. May the 26th, 2016. The long dreaded superbug has been found in the United States for the first time in a person and separately in a stored sample taken from a slaughtered pig. The organism known as MCR carries 15 different genes conferring antibiotic resistance, clustered on two mobile elements that can move easily among bacteria. MCR is so troubling because it confers protection against colistine, the last remaining antibiotic that works against a broad family of bacteria that have already acquired resistance to all the other antibiotics used against them. John 13:19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. Prophecy, May 17, 2015. In the spirit, people are seen wearing masks over their faces. Interpretation, a major contagious disease will arise or return to the USA shortly. August 19, 2015. In the spirit, the Lord reveals animal diseases beginning in, to affect humans. It is time for all to seek the Lord Jesus Christ in this perilous time. 2 Timothy 3.1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. May the 28, 2016. A vintage World War II aircraft has crashed in the Atlantic region of the Hudson River between New York and New Jersey. The plane went down two miles south of the George Washington Bridge. Divers later recovered a body, believed to be that of the pilot, from the submerged plane. John 13 19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. a major airline tragedy in the Atlantic region. In the Atlantic region, uh, make sure you look out for it, both land and sea, but in the general Atlantic region. The Harvest Army Church International Presence, Pearls of Prophecy. A prophetic masterpiece with over 200 scriptural guidelines on how to prophesy accurately, without failure. Prophecy being the final magnet of the gospel reveals God's will for mankind. Between the covers of this priceless pearl, you will get into the depths of the prophetic, from the reasons to prophesy, to how to receive the gift and gripping fulfillment. Prophecy, August 19, Prophecy. 20, Prophecy. May 10, January 25, 2015. In a vision, Revelation, March 9, 2014. The Lord reveals a major explosion in China. August the 12th, 2015. A massive explosion hit a dangerous goods warehouse in China. Revelation, March 1st, 2015. In the spirit, the following words are heard. France will come under attack. August 22nd, 2015. An attack on France was foiled in Paris when a Moroccan terrorist armed with an AK-47, a pistol and a knife opened fire on a train injuring several on board. Post Ebola! This warning came from the Lord. 
and came through prophecies that were prophesied on television to the world in New York City, they were warned at least, to Harvest Army Church International. Prophecy, December 8, 2013. In a dream, a, dread, a dreadful disease or plague arises from a bird-like creature or bat. It begins in the northern hemisphere of the earth, then spreads to Africa where it does much damage. Scientists have found evidence of the African Ebola virus in Asian fruit bats, suggesting that the virus is far more widespread around the world than had been previously known. Pearls of Prophecy is now available at HarvestArmy.org, Amazon and Zulonvest.com. Get your copy today. Join us for World Vision Day, the All Nations Effect. July the 2nd, 2016. At 12 noon, on one day, for one hour, with one voice. On one accord. To the gospel, the gospel. Worldwide, in every country. Rise up and declare Jesus Christ, his return and the forgiveness of sin. Challenge people to put their faith in Jesus Christ. No Christian left behind. July the 2nd, 12 noon. Touching every continent, blazing in over 100 countries, impacting lives. This is Christ has changed my life. It's World Vision Day. This isn't just a good idea. No, this is a Holy Ghost God idea. And it's not going to die. It's not a fad. It's not something that just started. No, this is going to shake the world. Many have even testified of a type of Pentecostal outpouring, prophesying as they were out. What's your name, Kevin? You know somebody yes. named... Your name is Kevin? That was the word of knowledge. Wow. Now, how did I know that? God. That's the Holy Spirit. Featured in Charisma Magazine, the largest Christian magazine worldwide, Love Express News announces World Vision Day at a city near you. Go out, go and preach the gospel for World Vision Day. With the participation of former popular NBA player, coach commentator Pastor Mark Jackson, with his Church True Love Fellowship. Visit worldvisionday.org and enlist today. To turn from sin! It is your day. If we can do it, if these kids can do it, you can do it. Today's sermon, The All Flesh Effect, Part 2. God over his wife. Come on, somebody. Even though he's God, you can't call him bias. Even though he's God, you can't say he's prejudice. When God is finished, no man point on him. Say amen, Jamaica. Say amen for the world, Jamaica. So God has a problem. How can I give account to seven billion people on the earth? So God discovered he has a shortage of preachers. No matter how I am anointed, I can't preach here in Africa at the same time. I could fast for 10 years straight and drink no water. Come on and look like the wind. I can't preach two places one time. Come on, somebody here. Oh my God of mercy. So God has a shortage of preachers. Every no one in the year, people say, too many preachers. That's a lie. 
that devil is a liar. Come on. God says in Ezekiel 37, uh, Matthew 9, 38, rather, he says, the harvest, somebody help me here, is truly uh, plenteous. Anybody going to help me here? But the laborers, you know, come on, you're, you're fighting me already. But the laborers of, is God said that. No matter what we say, is God said that. God said the preachers are few. He never said that, that they are unanointed. I'm going to get in trouble right now. Because most of us think we are anointed and him not anointed. Come on, somebody. God never said that. God said they few. Come on, somebody. That means some you cancel, God can use them. I'm gonna get in trouble. Some you don't recognize, God can use them. Come on, somebody. Some will never be to seminary, God can use them. Shiba Baba. Even though seminary necessary, come on, somebody here. Yeah. Glory to God. God has a problem, a shortage of preachers. So God said, pray that the Lord of the harvest will send forth, come on somebody, laborers. And some of us said, well, we're not sent. The devil is a liar. John 20, verse 20 and 21. Jesus said, as the Father has sent me, so send I you. Lift up your hand and receive it. Lift up your hand and receive the commission, Jamaica. So I send you. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Stand up on your feet and receive it right now. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Woe is me if I preach not the gospel. Come on, receive it right now. Receive it right now. Sit down in the Holy Ghost. God discover is not just all the powerful anointed thunderous fire power preachers he want more preachers there is a shortage and God said I'm going to solve the problem hallelujah is somebody praising the Lord but God has a second problem hallelujah God's second problem is a shortage of time. Time. Most of us church people, we take long to do things. They plan the next crusade next year. A big official event. You know, you call a pastor to preach. You say, you have to let me prepare first. I didn't get enough time. Can I preach today? I didn't get enough time. And your pastor, you must have a sermon in your back pocket every time. As they call you, you learn, run to rustrum and release power. If you don't know what to preach, say for God. Come on, somebody. The God of God so love the world. So God has a problem, sit down if you can, with shortage of preachers. And God has a problem with shortage of time. So God says in Romans 9 28, He said, A short work I do upon the earth. The Bible says, A wise man discern it both time and judgment God says in Luke 12 verse 56 he said we are like a hypocrites come on somebody we can look and see when rain is about to fall and take the clothes off the line but we know it not this time God 
said, Behold, I come quickly. Hallelujah. And my reward is with me to pay every man according as his work shall be. Somebody say, All flesh effect. Somebody say, All flesh effect. So God discovered the solution to the two problems. Every believer, a preacher, no. For he intends to get every sinner a believer. Did you hear what I said? God intention is to get every believer, every sinner a believer. He said in Second Peter 3 and verse 9. He said, God is not slack. Come on, somebody. Concerning his promise, but is long suffering to us word, not willing. Come on, somebody, that any hallelujah should perish. Come on, help me, Jamaica. But that all hallelujah from Africa from Zimbabwe from South America from Philippines but that all would come to repentance listen to me Jamaica we have not done it until we cannot give account for the seven billion with a B men of God adjust your ministry for seven billion if you're a preacher you're not just your 500 members Yes, the nature of a preacher is to be a traveler. Then not come on, somebody. It's not just your big church or little church. Come on, somebody. You've got to go to Brazil. Come on, somebody. You got to go to the corners of there. You gotta tour and tour and tour. Can I get in trouble? Sometimes your members get used to you and you need to leave a little bit. And when you're gone for one week, they're dying to see you come back. You gotta move around. I'm gonna get in trouble. You can't handle this here tonight. Oh, glory to God. But I hear God said, Hallelujah. Sheba Hasha. Oh. Somebody say, Oh. Somebody say, Oh. Somebody say, Oh. God's plan in this all flesh effect. Someone say all flesh effect. Someone say all. Someone say all. Someone say me too. Someone say me too. Someone say all. God wants every sinner to become a believer. In Acts 17, verse 30, I believe. Turn to it if you can. Acts 17. Hallelujah. And verse somewhere there. Let me read from verse 26. Hmm. He hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face. Somebody say all. Somebody say all. On all the face of the earth and at the term in the times before appointed and the bounds of his habitation. Let me run to verse 30. And the times of this ignorance God went at. It means the past. It means the Old Testament. It means the traditions. It, mean, it means the, the fashions and the come on somebody. And the formalities. Are you with me somebody? And the times of this ignorance God went at. But now Come on, help me, Jamaica. Somebody shout now. Somebody shout now. I told you, I can't preach for tomorrow. Glory to God, I don't qualify to preach for tomorrow. Come on, tonight can be the end. I've got to preach. Glory to God. Like there's no other day left on the herd. Somebody shout now. He said, but now command it all men. My 
God of mercy everywhere am I looking right to repent last night we told her that in the new thing there's got to be a plan for the world all men so God says every sinner must be targeted to become a believer it is the decision to receive or not that's why God said come on Lee, that labor and I heavy laden and I will give you rest he said come reason together said the Lord though your sins be a scarlet they shall be white as snow I remember I was in New York on a certain street preaching and while I was preaching on the street I saw a Rastafarian coming down the street and I, I talked to everybody else and when he came I skip him I said don't want God by the end of the day by the following day rather that happened on a Saturday on the Sunday we were at the headquarters church and we got a message that a Rastafarian went to a branch church and he said I was on the road and I see the bishop preaching and I was afraid so I was afraid of him preaching but I need Jesus so I went to a branch church and said I want Jesus in my life and he gave his heart to Jesus while I was fooling myself get with me somebody here you can't skip nobody you can't practice prejudice come on we priest rasta ganja man prostitute homosexual cigarette smoker liars and thieves and adulterers come on somebody that young man got saved without me skipping him out and it's about 15 to 20 years and he's still saved come on come on come on come on somebody say oh Somebody say, oh, somebody say, oh, it is God's will that everybody gets saved. Come on, somebody, somebody shout, all fleshy fake. Somebody say, all fleshy fake. Somebody say, all flesh, all flesh, all flesh. Say, let me hear you, every sinner, a believer. I can't hear you, I can't hear you. You're practicing bias. I can't hear you. Someone say, every sinner I believe. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I know you have to get over it. I have to get over it when I see myself. Come on, somebody. We got to get over it. Somebody shout, every sinner. Every sinner. Open the mouth and shout, every sinner. Every sinner. Every sinner. Every sinner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A believer. Let them reject it. But they're going to hear it. That's why God said the gospel shall be preached as a witness. You may see miracle or you may see none. But they can't point on God. Say amen. Say amen. Somebody saw the all flesh effect. In the all flesh effect, every sinner, a believer. Number two, watch this now. Every believer, a preacher. I told you seven billion people. And that's what I told you. So, are you coming with me? I discovered last night you folks are scholars. Come on, so I can get a little technical. Come on, somebody. Every believer, a preacher. God said it's not just anointing. I have to deal with the seven billion. Am I getting somewhere, church? Yes, or should I put down the mic? Am I getting somewhere? Yes, God said, I'm dealing with the whole planet. Not your little church crusade. Not your little community outreach. You have to give an account. Bravo, shababa, for the planet. Come on. That's why God says in Isaiah 66, 
verse 8 who had heard such a thing who had seen such a thing shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day if you have been blessed by today's message and what God has been doing through this ministry, we ask that you support and help us to spread this vision throughout the world. The Bible says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. God is magnifying His word through prophecy, and many atheists, religions, and non-believers are beginning to take notice. Your generous contribution will help save and change lives. The impact of your seed may save a generation. For God's revival has truly come upon the earth. So call today and make a tangible donation with the assurance that your seed will restore lives throughout the ends of the earth. Call 718-696-2769. That's 718-696-2769. Or you can visit us at harvestarmy.org slash give. Give your seed, throw out the lifeline, and don't let another soul slip away. Every day, God speaks to vessels around the world to prophesy and prove Him as God. But many times, those vessels are not the popular names of Christian ministry. God said in His Word that He would prove Himself through prophecies and revelations, not only from the Bible, but also speaking through His servants. On HarvestArmy.org, prophecies and revelations are posted almost every day and are fulfilled in due time. It is our responsibility as Christians to listen for the voice of God. The Bible says not to be ignorant of the devil's devices and plans. We encourage you to check the updates on our revelations page every day. The website is www.HarvestArmy.org. That's www.HarvestArmy.org. Don't make fulfillment of prophecy be a surprise to you.